Hello everybody, in this uh, lecture we will be solving 1986 IMO problem number 6. This is a combo problem. Uh, we are given uh, lattice points, a finite uh, set of lattice points. And we would like to color each of these points uh, red or white in such a way that any time you take any line parallel to any of the axes, uh, these colors are uh, distributed as evenly as possible with a uh, difference in the number of white points and red points not exceeding one. Um, so le let me quickly uh, draw a grid and then let's uh, the, have the discussion uh, on that grid. So I'm just drawing some arbitrary uh, uh, vertical lines, obviously these grid points, grid lines. Okay, and I have these as well. So, and then on these on this grid, I will uh, pick some uh, lattice points. So let me um, I don't know. So probably red color. Okay, good. Uh, actual the question is tell say saying red color. Uh, let's let's do it bl uh, black. Okay, so let's assume that we we've given the following points. Um, uh, and I'm trying to make it as uh, randomly as I can um, but then we can consider different configurations together as well at the end and all I want is to make sure that everybody uh, understand the uh, the method that we are about to use uh, so something like that maybe okay so um, well, while at it, I can also add this uh, last row as well. Um, I don't know. So something like that. How about this point too? Okay, good. So the crux move in this problem is um, to draw, um, is to connect basically um, each pair of uh, lattice points in a careful way. So I will orient myself left to right and um and bottom to up so i'll f start from the I'll, um uh, uh, uh from the line at the bottom and i will w uh, work myself up okay so what i will do is uh, i'll do the following thing so here i start so i have my uh wh what color this color okay i take so any consecutive points i will connect them like that and then the next two uh, lattice points are these two. And this one is by itself. I'm not touching that one. I do the same thing for the next line. I do the same thing and there's no other point. I can't do anything. So I take these two. I take these two. And I take these two. I continue this procedure. Uh, so sometimes there will be some points left over. I'm fine with it. I go from left. Oops. I go from left to right. Left to right left to right and left to right so i should be able to do that but now the interesting part is i will do the same thing um bottom up okay so this is the first uh, when i check the first column i have the first dot and the oh shoot okay so yes that one is connected then i will connect um these two but be aware that this line is not connected in that sense, right? So it's um, so th these are not crossing basically. Uh, I'll do the same thing um, here, I guess. Oops, there you go. And then I'll do the same thing. And there's nothing more there. I'll do the same thing here. Um, do the same thing. Do the same thing. Um, I guess these do the same thing. Do the same. This and probably this one. Um, this and finally this I hope I did not make any mistake but uh, we should be able to draw these um, grid lines now what's so interesting here is that uh, let's analyze uh, what's going on um, for instance if I keep track of any um, of these cycles I, I realize there are two types of things going on either I have an open end um, like snake type of line or I will have a closed line like this now I claim that the closed things I don't have to do anything because um, 
because they are closed there's an even number of points on each side and well in this case two 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 right that's the and here's another one so consider this cycle here this cycle these are some great cycle uh, cycles um well and and so therefore i i can rule them out so for instance the way i will be coloring them let me pick another color um uh, so i need to color them um yeah let, let's just write the letters here red and white red white now in, in in a similar fashion it actually doesn't matter how you uh color them how, how you label them um but that's the one now for how about the snake shape uh, so we have a huge long snake shape here starting from here going here all the way down here 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 and here that's one snake shape and then we have another one here all the way here and here um what else well i have this snake shape here and then i have this snake shape here so i i, I should be able to color them uh, pretty uh confidently right um so let's um doesn't matter so you, you can start from any end point you want so let me start from here red white red white red white red white so i, I color them alternately right so everyone sees that i guess and I'll do the same thing here, red, white, red, white, red, white, okay. And finally, I, I, I will do this one more time, red, white, oh, well, two more time, I guess, red, uh, white, oops, sorry for that, white. And finally, here, I will get red and white, and I claim this this does the trick so let's see here Let, let's calculate the difference between white the absolute value of the difference in each of these rows between white and red colors so here in this first row we have one two three red and uh, two white apparently points lattice points for a difference of one so that works for the second row we have two red and two white two red two white the difference is zero still better so we have three white in the third row and three red three red and three white again zero difference here on the fourth row we have two red and one white um again a difference of one that's pretty good and so on so you can see that each of these rows satisfy the properties how about the columns look at this column one red one white one red and one white that works beautifully how about this column two red and two white two red and two white that again works beautifully how about this one again two red and one white still the difference is within the the, the limits and and somehow this uh coloring uh scheme works right so so this is uh Obviously, we, we, we can question, uh, so how, how did it work? So obviously, we have no concern about the cycles, right? So if a shape has a cycle in it, um, the vertices will be distributed evenly. So we can simply, whenever we get a shape like this, we can just remove it, right? So we can completely delete it. So we will be left with snake shape of type of things. But one concern that some people can get is, what if like two points are happen to be on the same column and you start from red and it turn, turns out to be a um an odd uh, length uh, snake shape that won't happen why because if these two colors were the same you were supposed to draw a line between them and it would have automatically reduced to this case so as a result uh, this type of situation will never happen and the rest of the the um the, the minor uh, details you can also uh, use along these lines to figure that uh, again it's uh, it's not uh, possible to um, to come up with the a violation so the, the, this uh, um, coloring scheme actually uh, works um, for those of you who if you would like there you can alternatively uh, prove this problem using uh, induction uh, on the number of points given in this uh, lattice uh, well number of lattice points um, the, the finite set of lattice points given in the plane and applying induction on these points we can we can always uh, 
do the induction step and as a result uh, prove inductively as well the induction proof is actually uh, very amusing and i highly recommend you guys can go to uh, aops or uh, other sources to 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 explore and uh, but obviously make sure to, to work uh, the problem uh, uh, some some time eh? at least i usually recommend my students to probably work about 30 minutes or so um up to one hour probably on a given problem quality time and and then um see the discussions on aops and how other people struggled and what type of insight they they brought to the problem but this uh the current uh constructive proof it was very nice and i i, I certainly enjoyed it and uh, I know the inductive proof is also as good as well. So I highly recommend you guys uh, have a look into that as well. So hope to see you guys in our next video.